Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So as you can see here, we have three Nokia Lumias. So there is a new Nokia Lumia which joining our Lumia family. So this is Lumia 820. It's gorgeous actually. It's feel like tank and it's quite sturdy and it's got an AMOLED panel. So I got this for $10. When I bought this, this was uh, locked. So the seller was selling like that because he doesn't know the code and he said uh, he already forgotten those code because he didn't use long time. So I bought it as it is and now as you can see here, it's unlocked. I just did hard reset and it was running on 8.1. I have updated it to Windows 10 and this is the first build. So it's running quite smoothly on this device on the first build. but. I have to update it two more times so I need to change the model number otherwise I will not get the update because this is an unsupported phone. So unsupported phone if you update an unsupported phone to Windows 10 they after the first build they don't get any kind of update so you need to change the model number even the supported phone also get a specific update like they don't get the most latest update so to to get that one also you need to change the model number so as you can see here um it's running windows 10 you can see visually you can see it's running windows 10 and the windows 10 version is one i think is 107 it's a first build of it so today i'm going to show you how you can improve the performance of your windows 10 phone uh, using interrupt tool so as you can see here i don't have interrupt tool installed but but i have copied the interrupt tool to my sd card today i'm going to show you how you can install it and also um, the trick how you can improve the performance of your windows 10 mobile so i have a two folder here one is dependencies and interrupt tool beta 1.7 so in 1.9 actually you can uninstall system apps which you can't really uninstall so there are some apps like xbox console you can't uninstall them but in 1.9 you can uninstall them but for me because it's running on windows 10 first build first build doesn't support uh 1.9 interrupt tool because it crashed always so i'm going to show you 1.7 then in future video i will show you how you can uninstall system and system apps on 1.9 or i will show you from my this device which is which has interrupt tool 1.9 so so let's start the video first of all uh, you have to connect with your wi-fi and if you have downloaded the file you can do it from your computer or you from your phone so uh, today i'm going to show you from phone how you can do that so if you go to for developer option just turn on the developer option and turn on device portal and turn off authentication we don't need authentication and remember this uh, IP address so we have to access our phone through this IP address and as you can see 198.168.6.8.2025 it's my IP address for this portal so it, it will be different in your phone so check it out first so let's go to your any browser or you can do it from your as I said from your laptop or another phone so if, if you type this code just 192.168.2025 it will come this way and left side out of it you will get uh, contents and then you just select apps here when you will select apps so this window will appear as you can see here now we have to install first dependencies so you will can do that from your directly from your file manager but it's it doesn't show it's installed or not it's quite confusion con confusionizing so i just avoiding that one so i'm going to do this method first of all uh, we are going to install dependencies so as you can see there are five dependencies so i have selected the first one and you may get some kind of error this so if you get this error just avoid it and go to the second one it's because you you have the dependencies installed previously or it got the dependencies so now we are trying second one so we have to do for the five of them it's it yeah it's not going to take much time because it's they are very small apps so the second one done now we are going to do that for the third one too dependencies rm 
So the link of this file will be description below. You can download it from there and it will be in zip format. So if you put it in your uh, from your device, if you want to access it from your device, please unzip it in your computer and copy the file because you can't unzip on your phone. So you yeah, have the fourth one also done. Now fifth one. Fifth one um, after installing dependencies, so you have to go to install your interrupt tool. So we are done five of them. Let's go our file in this device. As you can see, interrupt tool beta 1.7. So you will get two kinds of interrupt tool here. Okay, so one of them is setting version. As you can see here, interrupt tool beta 1.7 or setting version or app version so you can install either of them so i'm going to install app version here just click on that go so it's installing now it's just 1.7 mb i think so it will not going to take much time as you can see it's done so now we can access our interrupt tool as you can see here we have we got interrupt tool now if i click here it's open so if you install 1.9 it will crash here in first build but in second or third build from the second third build it will work properly so now i'm going to show you how you can improve the performance of your phone first of all you need to know that how much ram your phone got it's one gig 512 mb or two gig or three gig so you have to know that then you go to your registry editor as you can see here we have registry editor or you can go i think here registry browser if you click here registry browser then you have to go hk local machine then you have to go system then you have to go control set 001 then you have to go control then you have to go your i think it should be session manager or something else let's see which i get okay session manager then we have to go memory management then we have to go page paging files okay so as you can see in the paging files is uh, it has written 256 256 so as our phone got one uh, one gig of ram so that means 1024 for two uh, two gig of ram it will be 2048 and like that for 3002 so you have to know your one and write you have to write so if you have got 512 mb of ram just write 512 mb 512 mb so i got one gig of ram so i am writing 1024 yep one zero again one zero two four so do it according to your phone okay if you got 512 mb of ram just write 512 mb 512 mb if one gig one gig one zero two four one zero two four and for two gig two zero four eight and three gig and four gig if it's depend on your device you just count it and do it so then you have to press write write it will be written there and you will uh feel that your phone is little faster because it is accessing all of the mem memory on your device and it's allowing you to use all of those ram and you will feel that your phone is little fluid than before so as i can say so for this um it's running on the first build of windows 10 i'm not going to i can't in, uh, install interrupt tool beta 1.9 so i can't in uninstall them so for this i'm showing you from my this device which got in interrupt tool 1.9 as you can see so we are in interrupt tool 1.9 rc here it's running on if you want to install interrupt tool 1.9 i will also give this version of interrupt tool there you can install install both of them like if you have uh if you just first install the 1.9 one if crash then install one point if uninstall crash uninstall the 1.9 and install 1.7 that's it 
so let me show you so we are in interrupt tool 1.9 uh, here so if you click here you will get this window where you will get tweak register and other things so we are going to use general and you will get application profile here you just put click application and go to your package list okay so in this way you will be able to uninstall all your system apps which you doesn't need so but all of them will not be deletable or uninstallable just few of them like let me show you something so i have uninstalled most of them as you can see i don't have xbox and other things here those are uninstalled already because those anyway doesn't work so when you come here you you will find that this way so one of uh, for one app you will get three three files like this okay so uh, as you can see here there are some icon this and this and what you have to do from three of them you have to delete this one where you get the bookmarks like book option you just click it like that you will get uninstall option just press uninstall and it will uninstall that so do it for the, all the apps which you don't need so some of them you can't uninstall as you can see your keyboard and other things you can't really uninstall so you can uninstall maps so let, let me show you how you can uninstall maps so as i have maps here so maps is here so let's uninstall the maps go here and as you can see three of them here just and you have to click this one and press uninstall it may not work sometime or sometime work so you have to do it two three times also sometime so do it and uninstall the apps which you don't need and because those apps uh, runs in background so it will improve your performance of your phone now as you can see here we have done uninstalling i think so if i go here do i have maps yeah we are uninstalled maps as you can see here maps is uninstalled so in this way you can uninstall any of the apps not all of them so those are uninstallable which we will be able to uninstall so this phone i'm using as a windows 8.1 and i will go to gdr2 update on this phone i will show you that how you will get gdr2 update on unsupported device so i will uninstall gdr2 update on this device so that's it for today the link of this interrupt tool will be description below you can download it from there and in install on your phone thank you very much for watching see you next time